Hi everybody, this is Joe with Joe's Premium Firewood, bringing another fun-filled, exciting video. Today's video, we are on job site, customer, loyal customer of mine in Richland, Michigan, and he orders about eight to 10 oversized truckloads a year. This time of year, I give a, I'm having a sale going on. I don't know if many of you know that or not, but I have a sale going on on stuff that's not ready to burn but will be ready in the fall. I call it semi-season wood. Uh, this wood's been cut for about four months right now. I got Mike out here uh, helping me. Um, and most of this wood is, uh, I don't know, a mix of elm and black locust. And looks like there's some uh, mulberry in there too, a cherry. And, and then uh, that limb wood right there, I already stacked it. I, un I unloaded the unloaded the uh, all the limb wood and then staged the bigger pieces that need to be split on the tailgate so he can be right next to it and split and don't have to go very far you know work smarter not harder when we got here uh, the customer had uh, had some uh, cherry logs and some hickory logs big branch came off that tree right there that hickory tree and Mike and I cut it in the spring and then we just split it so this stuff should be ready in the fall also so I'm gonna help start stacking this stuff. So I'm gonna set the set the camera up and just uh, let her go and we can get a, get you guys uh, some entertainment here. More than two minutes, you know what I mean? I think I got her in there good. Grab my gloves. Instructed Mike to throw uh, the, the half moon pieces. He splits, you know, the round pieces. He splits in half off to the left, and then that's where I make like an end, end wall, like what I call it, or whatever. You know, the, the side pieces. You can kind of see what's already down there. Let me make sure my shirt's tucked in so you guys don't get plumber's crack again, like I did the other day.
making them end pieces, you know, uh, the half moons are the most stable, but the key thing is uh, putting uh, equal width pieces together. As you can see, I was kind of brushing it, and it looks like it's leaning a little bit to the left. But as long as you got pieces on the side of it, holding it, uh, it can, uh, it, it'll, it'll, it'll stay standing up. But I'm gonna feed Mike some of these, uh, get him some uh, pieces up, up to him. Make sure you don't run out. this all uh, split. Didn't bring any with me, just filled up the tank. We had about, usually a full tank of gas and splitter could split a full truck. This is about three quarters of a truck and there was about a quarter of a truck that was here. So it's, it's going to be close.
don't know if you noticed what I did there, but uh, I stuffed some pieces on the other side of it. So now, now it, there's no way it's going to fall over. They'll be burning all that wood at the same time, so that'll work out pretty good. I don't know how long I want this video to go. I figure 15, 20 minutes is more than enough. You guys see what's going on. Just give you a little walk around. Some of this elm, elm and boat is hard for it to split. But you see how easy this is with this, with this dude right here in the tailgate? He doesn't have to move at all. And just throws it down there. And we can get that stacked real quick. Uh, usually he fills up all these pallets here. Both sides are about two, at least two full cords. Maybe three here. And he, uh, they were full here in the fall. And I actually brought him a couple in the winter too. So just want to give you a little overlay kind of how we do things around here. Work smarter, not harder. So I guess with that, that concludes today's video. Watch it split one more piece. Like you got the now. Well, that one's still pretty good. So with that, that concludes today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, subscribe to my YouTube channel, like Joe's Premium Firewood on Facebook, and share this video on your social media sites. Thank you.